Hey, all you people, what's going on? Sorry that we are in the garage today. It's raining outside, but today is a special day. We have a brand new BMW X3 M40i. Gorgeous, gorgeous spec car, amazing color combo. And this is actually my first X3 that I've ever driven, so I can't wait to show you guys around this car. Right now, the engine's just warming up so I can do a couple revs for you guys in sport mode. And lucky for us, this just passed its break-in period. So, so we can actually put that turbo in line six to the test. And it looks like FedEx just arrived with our WeatherTech mats, which is perfect because it's raining outside. Nice WeatherTech floor liner made in the USA for the front seats and the rear seat. The cool thing about the WeatherTech is that the rear seats are actually just one molded structure that actually fits over the drive shaft hump in the middle of the back seats here. Shibuya. That is sweet. Let's see how the ultimate enthusiast SUV drives. I'm Matt Watson with Car Wow. Make sure you go on Instagram and follow Matt Watson Cars. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below. This is a very clear backup camera. So I set up my personal settings to when I go in the car, it says, welcome Matt. And it's automatically in sport plus mode for me. Ooh. I'm, I'm very impressed with this display here. It's super clear. So I'm in sport plus and already it's hanging the gears longer. Made the steering a lot heavier. Oh, this is an SUV. What the heck is that? <laughs> this is a... Pops and crackles, bells and whistles. 75? This is an SUV. I didn't even know that could happen with an SUV. Oh, the torque is, ooh, the torque is so good. And I wasn't sure how these run flat, these Bridgestones were gonna perform. As of right now, they seem pretty short footed in this rain. It's raining pretty hard. I feel like I'm in England reviewing because of the rain. England. The first thing I'd like to mention with this is the exterior because that is the first thing you notice when walking out to the car. I really think that BMW nailed the design. Uh, they didn't try and do a super sloping rear to it. So they, they kept that functionality in the back. They kept the headroom. The BMW designers did not go over the top with those lima bean grills. They're the perfect size on this. Don't go any bigger, please don't go any bigger. We've got the M wheels. We have the M brakes. Love this exterior color for us. There's fake vents, but there's also plenty of real aero, including these automatically adjusting front louvers for efficiency, downforce, or strategic cooling. The lips and vents give the X3 a more aggressive stance on the road. There's also real exhaust tips, which is an unfortunate thing to get excited about these days. There's also strategic examples of bracing under the chassis and on the strut towers for added rigidity. Another striking exterior feature is BMW's LED headlamps and semi-halos, which can swivel as you turn and self-level on uneven surfaces. Stop that. Stop that. Love this thing. So good. Love it, love it, love it. Second thing you experience, with this here, this rig, this unit, is the lovely interior in the seats. When you sit down, these seats are some of the best in the business, I'd say. I, best in the business. Best in the business. Very supportive. Um, there's, there's thigh support, which I need. My thighs are massive. There's a side bolstering, which actually just clamps right down on you. There's a little button on the side. <sighs> so what do you think of the seats, Sam? Oh my gosh, I'm about to fall asleep because they're so comfy. <laughs> That's good. I think they go all the way down. Let's see. You could definitely sleep in this. Wow. Is that how far it goes? Yep. Come on. I think that's very acceptable. Wow. I don't even have to activate my abs. <laughs> Love that. The back seats are also comfortable. Uh, roomy enough for Two and a half adults. Um, I take pity on that half adult though. Everything seems to be smooth to the touch. Yeah, it is. It really is. Got lovely tech in here, digital 
tack. I really do like the layout of all the controls. Driving position's fantastic. Visibility's awesome out of this. Uh, out of the front here at least the back there's some larger pillars that take some getting used to the cabin is just overall a great place to be especially for like a road trip or something or a long drive the cabin feels like a bank vault when you close the doors it just goes thunk and the cabin is very quiet too no wind noise at all to top off all the other stuff I just mentioned, uh, there is a 10 out of 10 Harman Kardon audio system in here. The clarity is unreal. Very, very impressed with that. And if you take a look around the cabin, there's a lot of little details that differentiate this level trim with the lower level trim X3. So you have M badges everywhere. There's, pl there's plenty, ample storage room in this, in this unit. And that takes us to the most anticipated part of the entire review. Will it sleep and also handy car guy? Let's put it to the test. <sighs> Kinda? I am six feet tall. My feet are flush against the back. I could do it diagonally. I'd say in a pinch. Yeah, it'll sleep and also handy car guy. I just, I wish you could close the tailgate from the remote. You can only open it like this. Oh! Interior and exterior design aside, let's talk about the performance of this. Thankfully, the weather let up a little bit. It's no longer raining. We can really get a feel for what this car does on dry pavement. <laughs> feels like a sports car. It does. Oh, this steering is so tight. I'll take it around a little cliche corner up here and just see how this thing handles, see if there's any body lean. Put it in manual mode. I just almost heel toe shifted. It's just like an instinct. <laughs> For the center of gravity that this thing has, it handles unreal i would take this over the sq5 i don't it, there's something about this engine too this engine just sounds so good it sounds better than the three liter v6s that are in the audis that's insane this is bmw's latest iteration of the b58 straight six making 382 ponies at 5800 rpm and 365 pound feet at an astonishingly low 1520 rpm they're refined enough, but they also get a little raspy um, and start to sound almost like a race car, which is really cool when you're in an SUV right this, right? Oh my gosh, it feels weird. Something feels wrong. And right now we're in sport mode and we're going through a little bit of traffic, which, you know, makes it a little on the jerky side. So what we can do is stick it into Comfort or Eco Pro. Uh, it shuts off the engine when you stop automatically. It's so quiet. Closes the exhaust valve, lightens up the steering. And this is kind of the road tripping setting pretty much right here. Decent throttle response. They pretty much got rid of all the turbo lag. As far as handling goes, I'll stick it back into sport. You should be able to hear the, the engine rev up and the exhaust open. That's crazy that by like a click of a button. Let's open this bad boy back up. Yes. Let the light in. You really can't stop touching that door handle. Oh, so nice. <laughs> and this gearbox, so good. The brakes grab incredibly. This is just, there's like no compromising with this. There really isn't. Oh my heart. I just want to hear some pops. Ready for this? It's just the perfect amount of power for this thing. It, it's, I wouldn't want any more, honestly, because it just, it'd be too much to handle. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't be able to use the full extent of the power. It feels like a very safe car. It does. Even going around these turns right here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder how this thing would sound with exhaust, like a aftermarket. <laughs> it's so good. It 
it's like the perfect amount fast. It really is. It's just yeah. so usable and so fun. And then eco mode and it's just quiet. We'll do one more launch now that it is clear. That's cool. So sport, smash the brake. Uh, you know what? If I'm trying to find something negative, the paddle shifters are kind of chintzy. They're made of plastic. If you would um, use them. Yeah. There's no air conditioned seats. Uh, I believe that's an option in a different trim level. Same with wireless charging for cell phones. That's also an option. Uh, this does not oh. have it. Steering, it might be a little on the heavy side for my taste. Like it just feels a little artificially heavy. Steering wheel is a little chunky on the thicker side. Two C's, three. But it's very comfortable still. It's like if any of you know guitars, uh, it's going from like a Stratocaster to a Gibson Les Paul. All right, so final thoughts. It's really nice. It's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I don't say that about many cars. It's crazy how this thing can do so much. It's a kid hauler, right? Not, not a seven rower, but it is a family vehicle. Yes. Um, and also a weekender. I, if, I don't know, I'm just astounded and just very, very impressed with every element of this. I know the X3s have come a long way. The first iteration of the X3, it was pretty rough. Uh, the ride was stiff. The interior was so-so. In my opinion, the styling wasn't that great. They weren't that reliable either. I don't know how reliable this is going to be in the long run, but it's brand new right now and it's under warranty, so shouldn't have to worry about that for a little bit. This is so soft right here. I can't stop touching it. <laughs> Oh, it's like a matte finish. Oh yeah. It's just so pleasant being in here. It makes you feel important because everything looks beautiful and high quality. Her. Luxurious. Luxurious. Ah, oh, man. Even they just like nailed this. They just nailed this car. Yeah. Oh, it's Hey, if you enjoyed this video, guys, I would really appreciate you clicking subscribe and or the like button. Ask me any questions you'd like. All right, signing off. You have a lot of cars in here. I can't believe I have to move my steering wheel manually. What is this, a peasant's car? Peasant. Give it a little rev for me, mom. Come on.